Ladies and gentlemen, today's the last day of November, and as I'm about to record my we now have 31 days left till 2022 is over video, um, my mom call, my mom calls me, and, uh, she tells me about this. It is freaking snowing. Like, oh my god. I'm actually gonna go in the snow. Screw it. I'm gonna go in the snow. Oh my god. You have no idea how happy I feel right now just to see snow again, guys. Ever since I've just been living with a dad, I have not had snow for a year. The last time I even had snow, which is back in 2021. It's just, it just feels so good to finally have snow again. Like, what a perfect way to just start the end of 2022. Which, uh, we have 31 days left until it ends. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. And as you read the title, yeah, I'm doing it again for the second sort of third-ish between one of those times. I don't know, but still though, um... So last year I made one like this, basically uh, 31 days until 2021 is over, and uh, the, the last video was less cringe, but from what I said in that video, the first one with the 20, 31 days until 2020 is over was a lot, was full cringe, so uh, who knows if this will be more full on cringe or less cringe like the last one, or none, I don't know, but just uh, basically I was just talking, I, 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 I was I had to rewatch those videos just to see okay so what did I do in those videos again did I just talk about my final thoughts or something and yeah pretty much I'm just gonna be talking about my, well I have my final thoughts for just the end of the year and uh, I'm sorry hold on a second just it feels I think it's a lot better but yeah we have 31 days left until 2022 is over but also 31 days left until 2023 which is crazy like is, is it just me or is it always mind blowing when like when we're like, oh snap, we're by we're literally at the end of the year. Just, I don't know. I feel like that just happens every single time, on like every single November thirtieth. But just, you know, I, I, it's probably just me, or unless it just happens with everybody. I, I don't know. But anyways, enough chit chat. So just uh, twenty twenty obviously stanked, but now now just looking back at it, I'm starting to have second thoughts. Sort of. I mean, I'm not going to take it back. Like, 2020 still stank. It still sucks. Even though I'm, like, having some second thoughts about 2020, it, it still sucks. But for 2021, it's a whole lot better than 2020. It was... Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, like, the best year. But that comes to think about it, I'm, like, thinking, was 2021 the best year? I don't know. But, like, it was decent. It was... Let's just, let's just say 2021 was decent. It was good enough, but seriously, a lot better than 2020. But what about 2022? Was it gonna, was 2022 gonna be better than 2021? Yeah, um, it's pro okay, I, I probably have said this a couple of times from one of some of my videos, but, uh, 2022 has just not been going great for me. I'm not, I'm not kidding. That, 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 I, I actually think 2022 is kind of not, I, I think 2022 may have actually kind of sucked for me. Yeah, I'm there. I said it. I don't know what I said in my 2021 video where I said hopefully I don't say 2022 sucks. But if I if I did say that, then boom, I, I, it's official. It happened. I've now said it. 2022 sucks. Which, yeah, 2022 sucks for me. And is it because of COVID? No. There's a reason why we all hated 2020 because of COVID-19. They pretty much ruined everything. Became a party pooper. We have to be quarantined. Which, not gonna lie, as much as I didn't like being quarantined, it was actually kind of fun. You know, and just, uh, in case we ever get quarantined, which, dear God, I hope not. I hope we don't get quarantined anytime soon. But in case, if it ever happens, it's going to be nice chilling at home and just, uh, making a bunch of videos. Just screwing around the house. That doesn't sound right. That that didn't come out right at all. What did he say? Oh. Still, though, just, uh, like, the 2020 sucked because of COVID-19, but for this, did it suck because of COVID-19? No. Sadly, I hate to admit this, I'm now accepting the fact that COVID ain't going anytime soon. I mean, I was, I, I didn't, I know I, I know I said that, like, I hope COVID-19 goes away and all that, but, like, I didn't know much about, like, viruses and all that, because, like, just basically, I've come to the realization, it's pretty much the next, like, it's pretty much going to stick around, and, uh, in, like, the next 100 years, we've all, we're pretty much going to be used to it, and just, we'll have, like, COVID shots, like how we have the flu shots, as I'm assuming the flu was like the last COVID-19 scenario pandemic thing. I don't know, but just basically, I've come to accept it, but still though, COVID's still a thing. I've now like, yeah, I've now come to just, uh, what's the, I, I, I know there's a phrase for this. I've, 
I've come, I've come to, uh, pretty much live with it somehow. I, I, I don't think that's the right phrase, but just pretty much I'm now just living with it. We're all living with it as just, uh, yeah, COVID's still a thing, but at least we're doing all right, you know, since just, I, I don't know, but I, I don't know. But speaking about COVID, I guess I could say 2022 sucked for me because I got COVID-19. Actually, no, I, I take that back. That's, that's, that's just ridiculous, but still though. It still sucks that I got COVID, actually. That, wow, COVID actually got me. Just like how the Demogorgon got Will in Stranger Things. The Demogorgon, it got me. So, the reason that 2022 just kind of sucks for me is because of what's been going on in my personal life. Like, just, it just sucked for me personally. Like, it just sucked personally for me. That's all I can say. COVID had nothing to do with this. It just sucked because of <laughs> what I've had to go through and deal with in my personal life, especially around September, which, uh... Whatever happened in September has to do with uh, why I was grounded for two weeks. Therefore, why I couldn't make any videos for two weeks. And honestly, I'm not looking forward to making that video because that's probably going to be the last time I'll ever want to talk about anything. Because honestly, I think it's unnecessary, but I'm going I'm to just do it one time and then just maybe never talk about anything. I'm like, why we were going on that? I mean, I, I, I did I did make a video about why I didn't make any videos by the beginning of 2021 because uh, me and my family had COVID. Well, mainly my parents. We just had to be quarantined. Like, I, I pretty much have done this two or three times, but still though, just, yeah, I will be making a video to talk about why I was grounded for two weeks. But I'm going to try not go full detail about it though, because I don't want people knowing my business. And same goes with all of you. You wouldn't want anyone knowing your personal life. You want, you don't, you don't want anyone knowing your personal business. So though, with me saying that it sucks, I'm just, that basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm, I'm honestly, am ready for this year to be over with, because wow, this, this year did not turn out the way I wanted it to be. I don't know what I was anticipating with 2022. I expected it to be another good year, but like, wow, this is pretty much the second year that really sucked for me since the first one was 2020, unless there was another year that stinked for me and I just and I can't remember it, but I'm probably not going to count it because who knows if it, I, 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 I don't know. Doesn't matter because just I'm ready for this year to be over and uh, yeah, I thought about it. Uh, 2023 is going to be my year. And I, I don't know if I've ever had my year, which could be 2013. I don't know. But then mom said, you can have as many years as you want. You probably have no idea what the heck I'm talking about. So for it, it, for example, 1986 was going to be Eddie's year. And as he died, his last words was like, this was my year. This year's different. This year, it's my year. I can feel it. 86, baby. I think it's my year, Anderson. I think it's finally my year. <laughs> and I'm hoping he's actually alive, because if he's dead, then damn you, Netflix and Duffer Brothers. But yeah, you should get what I mean, because like I'm, 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 I'm ready for it to be my year. I mean, it's mainly, and my my mom has been saying that 2023 is gonna be my year because because of the 23. But, like, I kind of want to join in now because I'm hoping 2023 will be, like, the best year of my entire life. I mean, I, I'm, I was thinking 2019 was the best year of my entire life, but now I've come to realizations, like, was it the best year of my life? Now, obviously, it was a good year. 2018 and 19 were peak. <laughs> they were just, those were the peak years, honestly. But, yeah, I'm ready for 2023 to be my year, and whatever year that I'll have next will also be my year. I don't know, but just basically... 2023 is going to be my year. I'm ready for 2023, and uh, let's hope it does not suck personally. Unless this is where your life starts to suck once you've turned into an adult. Since I am going to be an adult in two years. Something I'm not looking forward to. I know everyone looks, for looks forward to being an adult, but no. No, for me, I'm sorry. I am not looking forward to being an adult because I'm just not ready. And that is reasonable. But yeah, I'm ready for 2023 to be my year. And uh, any other thoughts that I... That I could bring up. I must, since I talked about Spider-Man No Way Home last video, I might as well talk about Avatar The Way of Water now. I'm concerned about it because uh, it... I forgot... Okay, I forgot exactly what the article said. I, I've heard reports about this, but basically, it's it needs to earn like $2 billion at the box office. Basically, it, 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 it just needs to earn a lot of money. A crap ton of money to be like the fourth or third highest grossing movie in like in, like, history of just movies. So, this concerns me, because, like, I'm, like, worried, oh, God, this is gonna bomb at the box office, but later in the next couple of days, I've just been thinking to myself, okay, you know what, this is James Cameron. He's 
a god dang genius. He knows what he's doing. Now, I don't know if he's made a bad movie. I'm gonna have to double check on that, but like, basically, as of right now, I am hoping it does well at the box office. I've been getting comments of people saying that I hope Avatar 2 flops at the box office on TikTok, and I'm like, oh my god, this is starting to bug me. But seriously, though, I'm hoping it does well, and it has to do well. Like, it has to. I mean, Avatar just came out recently, as in the real release, I mean, and uh, from what I heard, it's earned $2 billion. And there was barely any people in my theater, and yet it still got $2 billion, probably because of other countries. I don't know, but just, like, it's got to do well. Either it will do as well as the first one did, or it's going to earn a lot more money than the first one did, and it could possibly be Top Gun Maverick. I mean, Top Gun Maverick is, as of right now, the best movie of 2022, but who knows if Avatar 2 is going to take that crown, and who knows if Avatar 2 is going to be the new box office king. Since, as of right now, Avatar is the box office king, since the last box office king was Avengers Endgame. I'm assuming there's probably going to be a new box office king by 2029, since, you know, the Avatar came out in 2009, and Endgame 2019... Knows if we'll have a box on skin by 2029. Guess we'll have to see. So I'm a little ashamed that I've had this on the bottom of my list of my anticipated movies. Not that I was least anticipating. Like, like there are some movies I was least anticipating, but like was intrigued. Check out Avatar 2 was definitely actually not a thing about. It. I I guess I wasn't too excited with Avatar 2. I mean I was I was, I mean I was excited, just not that hyped up. But after seeing the trailers, I'm like I after seeing the trailers, especially in Multiverse of Madness, and uh, recently this month. I've just been like, uh, I'm hyped. Oh my god. Uh, why was this not on my top 10 list? And then I got a lot more hyped up when I saw Avatar in 3D. IMAX 3D, actually. So just, I'm like, just, I'm just feeling ashamed that I've had it on the bottom of my list. Because that basically just tells you that I was not that excited to check out Avatar 2. I mean, it's on my list, but it's my least anticipated film of 2022. I feel ashamed putting it on the bottom of my list. Because guess what? It's on my mom's most anticipated list of 2022. Since what kind of forever was my number one most anticipated movie of 2022, hers is like surprisingly her most anticipated movie is Avatar 2, and I'm like, okay, that's surprising. And I'm still trying to figure out which movie should be my most anticipated movie of next year, whether it be Ant-Man 3 or Blue Beetle or Spider-Verse 2. So though, I'm incredibly hyped for Avatar 2, and I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna be wearing some makeup to look like an avatar. Like we're gonna all go out. Like, me and Mom are just gonna look like avatars once we go see the movie in IMAX 3D. IMAX 3D, I'm excited for, because as soon, like, I saw a sneak peek of Avatar 2 as I went to go see the first one in IMAX 3D, and oh my god, I could not shut up with how beautiful and visually it was. And speaking about Avatar, I finally found my god dang post. Oh, it's, uh, right. it's right up here. Luckily, I did not lose it. But just, uh, th this is what I got as I went to go see the first movie. And this is one sick looking poster. The IMAX 3D experience. I am so glad I got to see this in theaters. Which, stay tuned for a review in about nine days. But yeah, we've come to the end of 2022. And I'm, I'm ready for it to be over because it sucked for me personally. Uh, 2023 is going to be my year. And I'm excited for Avatar 2 because... I I where I think we're gonna end actually one more thing I want to mention about because in the last video I said something that I wanted to leave I wanted to like leave my mark in 2021 and I think I pretty much left my mark with Spider-Man No Way Home because like that was one of the that was one of the best experiences I've had like I'm so glad I got to see it in IMAX like wow I okay I, I I'm honestly a little upset at myself for this because I wanted to see it on the 15th and then I complained about it but then. Uh, he, my dad told me that uh, his friends got tickets, IMAX tickets for Friday. I was upset because, like, the reason I wanted to see it on the 15th. Actually, I'm going to save my thoughts on this because I am planning to make a No Way Home video on the 17th. But seriously, though, I think I pretty much left my mark in 2021 just seeing Spider-Man No Way Home in theaters. In IMAX. In a crowded theater where I had that theater experience, which, oh, I want that theater experience. Like, I'm so pissed I got to see that once. And, like... Just, just once in a lifetime, but I hope to have that theater experience again with any movie, depending what movie it is, because it ain't gonna be, I almost said the actual name, it ain't gonna be Sugar Bear, which I did just do a trailer reaction for that, so be sure to check it out on the channel. But yeah, I'm hoping to just leave my mark here somehow. I don't know if I left my mark in 2020. Actually, I may have left my mark in 2020. I just don't know what is it that I did. I know for a fact for 2021, it was with Spider-Man Home, because... 
man, Friday was the best day of my life, which would be December 17th of 2021. So for this year, I gotta leave my mark, but what the hell could I do? What could I do to leave my mark in 2022? Guess I have about 31 days to figure that out, but uh, yeah, I guess that's all I need to talk about. Just me excited for this year to finally be over because it sucked for me personally. 2023, again, well, it's going to be my year. I'm hoping it's going to be my year as it's going to be my mom's year since it's, it's 23. She sees 23 everywhere she goes, which is crazy. And yeah, I'm, I'm pumped for Avatar 2 and I know for a fact it's going to do well, okay? And if it doesn't, I'll admit it, but it's got to do well. Like, I'm sorry. There's no way in hell it could bomb at the box office. It's got to do well. I don't see what other movie could be just uh, beating it at the box office, like how Jurassic World Dominion beat it Lightyear, and and that and th that movie ended up bombing the box office, and I'm talking about Lightyear. I'm still upset Lightyear bombed at the box office, but still though, I'm hyped for Avatar 2 The Way of Water, and yeah, I got 31 days just to figure out what the hell am I going to do to leave my mark here in 2022. But yeah, I guess that's just my thoughts on... Just basically for this video, be sure to know your thoughts, comments down below, and what are you going to do to leave your mark in 2022? And did this year went well for you, or did it suck for you? And I might as well put a poll on the community page, and that would be, will Avatar 2 bomb at the box office? And uh, I'm probably going to get a lot of no's, but who knows, I may be surprised with how many votes I get on there. And uh, yeah, as always, I guess I'll see you all in my next 300 not 300. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I'll see you all in my next 31 days left until 2000. I'll pretty much see you next year with my 31 days left until 2023 is over. Let's hope 2023 will be my year, because this year, sadly, just, it just stinks for me personally. And I don't want to talk about it, because again, I don't like to talk about my personal business on the channel. But yeah, as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. But I can't find one in a villa life outside. I can't find my fit.